Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is the Teach Yourself Excel section, lesson number 18, and this is on protection and how to learn best practices for protecting your formulae. To follow along, go to ExcelExperts.com, Teach Yourself Excel, choose lesson number 18, download the starting sheet, and then follow the instructions step by step. That's what we're going to be doing now. So if we go here, this is the sheet that we start off with. Now, as, as a general rule when designing a spreadsheet, you want to think very carefully, inputs, outputs, and you want to segregate them, and you want to protect your outputs from your inputs. You want it to be clear where you're entering values and where the results of the formulae are. You also don't want to be able to break any formulae that you've entered that you're very happy with. So here's my suggestion for doing that. Protection. So let's just press Control G, type F H, press OK. Now format this background color in a light gray. So let's choose that one. Then press Control G, go to A and E, and right click, Format Cells, Protection, and click off Locked. So what I'm saying is don't lock these cells. As a default, all cells are locked. And when you protect a sheet, it won't let you change locked cells. So these are already locked. So what I'm doing is I'm unlocking these. I'm then going to add protection and that will protect. So then we go to the review menu of our ribbon and we choose protect sheet. We don't enter a password just in case we forget it. This is just a simple sheet and we click OK. Now, if we go to this and we start typing, we can't actually change the value of that. So this is really good. These formulae are protected and they won't change and they won't break and therefore we won't get the wrong values. So this is generally very good practice for once you're happy with formula, protect it, change the color so you know what the output is and what are the inputs. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com on protection. Actually, one more thing, to unprotect the sheet you just click unprotect. That's what we'll do now in preparation for the next lesson.